All right, guys. My name is Zia. Uh, I am the uh, director, uh, the brand director for Beta Brand. Uh, who here knows what Beta Brand is? Just a quick raise of hands. These guys know what it is. No one else does. Okay. Um, so Beta Brand um, is an online retailer. Um, they do small batch products, um, and they do a lot of smaller, uh, like like smaller releases, uh, more on a weekly basis as opposed to seasonally. Um, that allows them to sort of produce a lot of really quirky and interesting products. Uh, this is the quarter round pant. Uh, the fibers of the corduroy go horizontally as opposed to vertically. Um, you can kind of see here, they have a little scientific graph that explains uh, how it drastically lowers crotch heat index. Um, so just sort of having some fun with that. Um, a lot of other fun products like hiding something secret on the inside then reversing it and being able to expose it. Um, and then these are actually a pair of yoga pants, um, but they're dressed up like work pants. So just hiding in plain sight and just having a lot of fun with these different things. Um, a lot of the products, are, they're fun, um, they're functional, but there's also a stylish element to them. Um, and that's what we really wanted to do um, with the footwear brand extension that we were working on. Um, so we were just exploring the website, just looking for different stuff. Um, this is some sort of part of the website. I, I don't know. They're, they're just a lot of fun pictures, um, like a suit onesie, stuff like that. Um, this is Vagisoft uh, from the uh, Softometer uh, part of the website. Uh, Vagisoft is the second softest material uh, just before uh, the womb of a marshmallow mermaid. So just some really weird stuff. Um, and we were having a really good time. We were just laughing and, and, and just really enjoying it. Um, and we realized that some of our, some of our products or, or ideas are so strange that we didn't want to share them with other people. So we began to notice that uh, like an inside joke was developing. Um, and that started to get us to think, like, what, what is an inside joke and, and, and what is that feeling sort of all about? It's something that's fun. It's something you only want to share with like, a close group of people that you really care about. Um, and it's also something that's really personal. So the idea is instead of sharing that feeling with a person, how would it feel to share that feeling with a product? And that's what our footwear brand extension is all about, introducing Secret Saturday. Our vision statement, capture the fun and surprise of product through the lens of an inside joke. We do this with our brand ethos, attract, explore, and surprise. Here's a little demonstration of how it works. Uh, attract, explore, surprise. <laughs> um, so <laughs> our consumer um, is someone who uh, does one thing uh, during more traditional parts of the day, uh, and they do their own thing at other parts of the day. We wanted to create a product that could also do the same thing. Um, the idea would be since the product can sort of transition from one piece of the day to another, in a sense, it knows you better than anyone. To reflect that, each of the products that we're going to introduce to you also have a fun little secret for the user to explore. So the idea of this intimate sort of secrecy is really what the heart of Secret Saturday is all about. Um, you're going to see that in our logo. Um, you're going to see it uh, in our packaging, um, our colorways, uh, and our marketing. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'd like to welcome you to the Inside Joke. <laughs> Oh, I guess I'm presenting. Hello, I'm Seka, and I'm keeping your secret safe in the office shoe. I'd like to, intro I'd like to introduce you to Kari. Uh, he's 28 years old. He's from Austin. He sells beepers, and just like anybody that sells beepers in 2015, he hates his job. <laughs> and so on the weekends, he performs as DJ K Free. He's an up and coming DJ uh, who blends electronic sounds with African tribal drums. Uh, and his signature look is an oversized African mask, which he puts on before his shows and the crowd really gets into it. And he's looking to build on that, he's looking to build on that pregame ritual with a shoe. Uh, sort of the problems with the shoe is that he needs a shoe that can go from work to play, but oftentimes those shoes are often, they're too playful for work or too workful for play. Um, so we're trying to find that sort of sweet spot in between work and play, which is uh, awesome sauce. And so uh, I was visualizing different concepts for how Kari can go from work to play, uh, sort of like with a flipper zip, uh, a hoodie shoe that can go inside or out, um, or a shoe that flips inside out. Uh, and so I finally landed on a shoe that can fit inside of a shoe because flipping your shoe inside out is a lot of trouble with materials. So I'd like to introduce you all to the cubicles. The cubicles, um, they borrow, it's a, it's a dress, it's a, <laughs> It's a high-top sneaker that gets the job done just like Kari. 
uh, borrows cues, visual cues from outdated technology um, in a distinct silhouette. So we have floppy disk in the front and brown, office ca brown file cabinet in the back. And I was also inspired by uh, Clark Kent's transformation into Superman. Uh, so it's an easy on and off. Just, before, uh, just after Kyrie gets off of work and heads to his DJ sets, uh, it becomes his true self. And this is when we see the DJ, bo DJ performance booty. Uh, it focuses on, it, it uses a Rhea Preen, uh package inspired by the Tron bodysuit, so it's aerodynamic, comfortable, and very breathable um, for his hot nights in the DJ set. And it's also inspired by, and the neon glow in the dark pattern is also inspired by the African tribal lines, uh, in, which follow the contours of the foot. And after work is all said and done, after his DJ sets are all said and done, he puts his work shoe back on, and it's back to selling beepers. But Kyrie knows something special about these shoes that nobody else does when he's at work. And that's the elephant in the room. Um, so, then that's what the cubicles are. They're an elephant looking shoe with a DJ shoe inside of it, and that's awesome sauce. Thank you. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Myers, and I would love to introduce you to my consumer, Haley. Haley is a free-spirited spirit, free 26 year old. She's an art critic, so she travels around the world to different museums. And as she travels, she loves to participate in her favorite activity, which is paddleboarding yoga. If some of you don't know what that is, it's pretty self-explanatory yoga on a paddleboard. And so this activity is currently being grown very quickly. Over 50% of boards that are sold are actually used for this activity. So for my inspiration, I chose topography, French Impressionism, and Svadhyaya, which is a yoga practice of self-observation. And so going off of topography, I focus on the organic and the natural curvatures of the earth. So that's kind of blending like earth and nature with art. And then for French Impressionism, I was going off of en plein air, which is a French word or French phrase for just in plein air, so out in, the, in nature and just purity and everything. Yeah. So the problems that I found with a beta brand is that there are no women's shoes at all. So this is the first style that is incorporating women's shoes. And for the board, I found that the boards are very slick because the pad only covers about 80 to 85% of it. So that kind of leaves about 15 to 20% that you cannot use and that you can slip and just possibly be injured or fall into the water with. And also UV rays that hit the board, if they're wood or if they're just plastic, it can cause it to heat up. Also, like I said, less usage of the board and beach train with rocks, shells, and all that. So my solutions for that are A, a no-slip outsole using a silicone grip that's sticky, B, lightweight structure that kind of focuses on also the yoga principle of minimalism, and C, contour to foot for support, and UV protection with the thickness of the Arupreen package. These are my ideations starting in the top left. So as you can see, I really focused on minimalism from the start and just trying to keep subtracting and subtracting and subtracting until my final illustration down here. So that kind of led me to these five ideas. Um, I chose to not go with a hard outsole just because it's just super minimalism and you have to keep subtracting from what you had. Next. So that led me to Namaste, my final project. Um, I chose a silicone outsole for grip and traction against the board. And my secret is the TLC color shift, which it appears any color, it's two colors, and so if you bend it and the different folds that it takes, it can change color. So that's around the foot, and I contoured that specifically around the ankle bone just to like reduce abrasion, and also made a wave structure seam in the back to reduce abrasion as well. And also I have the TLC mesh and the Arupreen package. Next. And this is my final rendering. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jalen Miller. Um, I'm the last designer you have to hear from. <laughs> um, go ahead. Um, I'd like you to meet my consumer. Uh, his name is Johnny Dover. He's 28. He's from Eugene, Oregon. Um, he's very environmentally conscious. Uh, he's all about green living. Um, he's trendy, he's unique, and he's free-spirited. Go ahead. Um, during the work week, during his 9 to 5, he is a trash collector. Um, his true passion is recycling, being environmentally conscious, nature. Uh, but unfortunately, he was fired from his food cart cook job for bringing his natural medicine to work. Um, some problems he faces as a trash collector, um, 
He deals with all sorts of waste, chemicals, debris, um, and also long, labor-intensive hours. Go ahead. On the weekend, he's a nature lover. Um, he lives an organic lifestyle, and he really is devoted to that. Um, he likes to know where all of his uh, food, all of his processes, everything he purchases, he likes to know where it came from and how it was created. Um, some problems he faces on his weekends are um, bad weather conditions, as well as comfortable storage for his personal effects. Go ahead. Um, so my project was to design an eco-friendly, sustainable, nature-inspired boot for comfortable outdoor wear in natural and urban environments. Um, I kind of came to this idea um, of creating a shoe that doesn't detract from nature and doesn't affect it negatively. Um, sort of this inspiration came from the farm-to-table lifestyle. Um, again, sort of how uh, Johnny um, likes to know everything about where everything came from, so it's a really honest style of living. Um, so my final goal is to create a shoe that can uh, seamlessly uh, function in urban and natural environments. Uh, the three main points, one of them got cut off, but the three main points I focused on during my ideations are sustainable materials, uh, environmental performance, whether literally performing out in the environment or how the materials and processes affect the environment, and the third one is design by nature, so taking uh, aesthetic cues from nature and applying them to footwear. So the final rendering and my final project is called Sustain a Boot. So the lining is inspired by moss. Um, there's reflective patches for safety uh, inspired by 3M reflective vests. Um, silhouettes of nature that you can see on the side of the shoe. Uh, contrast stitching to sort of um, convey that honesty and um, honest construction, I guess. Uh, the three main hero materials, which Flavio will talk to you about, um, are all designed to show wear with time without really degrading. Um, the inspiration for the mudguard is that durability and weather resistance, so whether that's in an urban environment or a natural environment. Um, the outsole designed to look like you stepped in mud, um, so it sort of prevents the visible, um, I guess, cues of having mud on your shoe, which will more than likely happen at some point during his um, activities. And then last is a hidden compartment that's contained in the heel for him to store his personal effects. And here's some orthographics uh, of the final. So we have uh, an exploded view showing sort of the, the pod that you can put your personal effects in. Um, there's hemp twine on the back, sort of small, small little details that the consumer will appreciate because it's all natural and it all sort of agrees with what his, uh, what his ideals are all about. So thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Flavio Markevich and I'm the CMF for Secret Saturday. Um, for our global color inspiration, we took some uh, pictures of better brand consumers using better brand products. And this is how they behave. They are happy, they are quirky, they don't really care to what you think. Uh, and for, at the first sight, if you look at this, you may, uh, not, it may not make sense for you, but it makes perfect sense for better brand consumers. And this is uh, everything what, what an inside joke is all about. So this is, we translated to this colorway, to this color palette, um, we have uh, funny colors, we have uh, exciting colors and exciting and funny names as well because we treated each color as a joke. So we have Sasquatch mustache, we have uh, mandatory office party, we have mermaid nipples, you just choose the one that you like the most. <laughs> so <laughs> for the Kubikul project, uh, we took, uh, we tried to uh, represent the duality between the most boring office ever and the most awesome futuristic club ever. So uh, we have grays, we have uh, neutrals uh, contrasting with uh, this neon and uh, very edgy looking uh, style. So for the materi materials we selected a reprint pack with glow in the dark PU film as the hero uh, and the SRL full grain leather uh, with multiple textures, so it will be on the upper, on the outside upper. Uh, they both, uh, they share uh, these uh, tacky textures, and uh, 
uh, the names of the three colorways, they're based on uh, creators of outdated technology, but that is still is used for DJing. So that's it. Um, for Namaste, uh, ocean-inspired colors, as well as uh, the textures, ripple textures, um, contrasting with, contrasting, no, complementing actually with the, co the uh, textures and colors from the certs. So uh, this inspired us to use the Aria Print Pack with the TLC color shift uh, knit that uh, the color shift knit, it uh, translates uh, the love that this uh, persona has for art uh, and the Aria Print Pack uh, provides the flexibility that she needs. Uh, the colors are inspired by desserts and have French name because it's more fancy if you put it in French, right? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> the sustainable boot uh, is the contrast between, between toxic, between uh, aged, between uh, uh, rusty, uh, uh, with uh, more fresh, uh, organic, natural. So, uh, this we translated into the Clarino synthetic microfiber, the TLC denim, and hemp textile. Uh, they, they are all heroes that, uh, depending on the colorway, they change. And we have Jones and Vining, Vining rice rubber as well. All, uh, all of them selected uh, so they, as they have this eco-friendly profile. And uh, the names uh, and the main inspirations for the colorways are uh, mushrooms that look very toxic, but they are all completely edible. So that's it. That's what I have for you. Thank you.